The truth about perpetual motion. Can machines run forever? Imagine a machine that never stops. No fuel. No energy input. Just infinite motion. That's the dream of perpetual motion. A concept that has fascinated engineers, scientists, and inventors for centuries. But what exactly is it? And why does it sound too good to be true? Perpetual motion refers to a machine that can operate indefinitely without losing energy. It sounds like magic, right? But before you start sketching blueprints, there's a critical question. Does perpetual motion break the fundamental laws of physics? To understand perpetual motion, we need to revisit the laws of energy conservation. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or transformed. Perpetual motion machines, however, claim to generate energy from nothing. Even more intriguing is the second law of thermodynamics. It tells us that energy systems naturally lose efficiency over time due to entropy. This means that perpetual motion machines are not just unlikely. They're physically impossible in our universe. Throughout history, countless inventors have tried to crack the code of perpetual motion. From over-complex gears to self-propelling wheels, these devices are ingenious but fail when confronted by the laws of physics. They've served as a lesson rather than a breakthrough. Why do these attempts fail? Because every system loses energy to friction, heat, or resistance. A functioning perpetual motion machine would need to overcome all these forces, an insurmountable task under the natural rules governing our world. So if perpetual motion is a scientific dead end, why are we still so drawn to it? The idea represents human curiosity and the desire to push boundaries. While impossible, it inspires us to revolutionize energy technology and find more sustainable solutions. Let's keep asking bold questions and challenging limits, but remain grounded in science. Help spread the excitement of exploring the possible by sharing this video with fellow engineers and thinkers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. How would you redesign energy solutions without defying physics?